54,000 employees at Los Angeles International Airport report to work without mandatory bag checks, no body screening, and literally hundreds of doors like this one, where a badge and a code get you right onto the tarmac. Think that's scary? Put yourself in the shoes of LA's airport police chief, Patrick Gannon. I gotta ask you about the lone wolf scenario because right now, what you have in place with hundreds of access doors and the screening you go through, there is really, it doesn't appear to me, to be protection against the lone wolf scenario. When you say lone wolf, are you talking about somebody, a lone wolf that has access to the, uh, that, about that's credentialed employee? That guy right there that just walked in with a, with a backpack, with a mug, we don't know what's in his backpack, we don't know what's in his mug, and we don't know what is in his heart or in his head. That's correct. Does that concern you? It concerns me all the, all the time. With 54,000 badged employees that work at a large airport like this, there is no way that you are going to have uh, the ability to screen every single person that comes to work in the, in, the, in the airport. LA tries to minimize the risk by maximizing random checks like this one. Airport workers never know exactly when or where spot checks could occur. Employees also face background checks, yearly updates, and a system built around everyone watching out for anyone who might seem suspicious. But Chief Gannett admits nothing is foolproof. As we've been at airports across the country, we have not really seen uh, anything that could prevent what Atlanta went through, which was guns being smuggled onto airplanes. No, I agree. I agree in that in any, in any airport throughout the United States and, and here, here also, there is never a 100% uh, guarantee that somebody couldn't, who wanted to do um, something illegal or, or wrong, uh, couldn't make that happen. What happened in Atlanta is causing a reaction at airports across the country. And you can see why. These are guns, guns smuggled onto as many as 20 flights by one Delta airline baggage handler. That baggage handler took the guns to work in a backpack, which was never screened. Motive for the crime, pure profit, selling the guns in Northeast cities. It is random. But Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson's general manager, Miguel Southwell, testified to a congressional committee the real danger the gun running exposed is the threat of potential terrorism. In the last six months, for example, uh, we've started to see that uh, people are being recruited uh, to engage in um, terrorist acts, um, people being recruited from the United States. So now we have a greater insider threat. Atlanta is moving towards full airport employee screening, but it hasn't happened yet. A CNN investigation found that only two Major U.S. airports, Miami and Orlando, conduct full employee screening, requiring employees to pass through metal detectors just like passengers. Airports say moving toward full employee screening would simply be too costly and too time-consuming for airport workers to wait in line like you and I. But some members of Congress just aren't buying that demanding the Department of Homeland Security review employee screening policies to make sure airports aren't leaving a door open <laughs> to a possible disaster. Anderson, the Department of Homeland Security really doesn't have an answer yet. This is a huge potential problem, but solving it by requiring all these airline employees to go through the same kind of screening passengers do would come at a huge cost. Yeah.